Let me know what you think in the downstairs. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with Geek Fuel. It's just, it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's not super good. Yeah, yeah, I got another one. So hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is Volume 4 Geek Fuel EXP. For the uninitiated, Geek Fuel EXP is Geek Fuel's quarterly box. They used to be monthly, but back in May of 2018, they switched to a quarterly box, which means it comes out once every four months instead of once every month. No, every three months. Yes, math is hard. These boxes cost $60 now instead of $20, which means that ultimately they cost the same as if you bought three boxes. However, each box, since you get fewer of them in a year, are supposed to have more value in them. I believe they're supposed to be up to $100 in value. Let's see how close they got. Got a little handy dandy sheet of things I can look at when you're not looking. There's actually a lot of stuff. This is a heavy box. We got a nice little Spider-Man sticker. That's kind of fun. I really don't like counting stickers as things because stickers are like, I mean, they're, they're stickers. I'm not five. Huh? Stickers don't really like do it for me, but that is a nice little sticker. I like that sticker. That's a good sticker. Look at me contradicting myself. I'm just pulling things out of the box. I don't even, haven't even looked at what's in here. I'm assuming this is the shirt. It's very, it's very shirty feely. So let's go ahead and pop this open. It's in a very generic geek fuel bag. Sometimes they come like in a box that's themed with like the, not the theme, but whatever the shirt is. Like the Deadpool one they did one time where it actually came wrapped in like a burrito foil. That was. Pretty cool. Ooh, the shirt's soft. That's nice. That's a good change of pace. Oh no, I dropped it. Let's give this the old what for, huh? This is an extra large shirt. That's good. Ooh, it's Spider-Man. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So soft. It's so staticky, actually. Oh, my chest hairs are all tingly. Oh, I like it. Oh, I got a little carried away there, but this this is what I'm talking about. This is a good shirt. It fits really well. The sleeves come down to here, which is, you know, good. The shirt is very soft, and I absolutely love the uh, Spider-Man. This is the Into the Spider-Verse kind of Miles Morales, and we got regular Spider-Guy. We got a Gwen Stacy up here, Spider-Gwen. I absolutely love the shirt, but full confession, I actually haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse yet. I know it just came out on digital. I'm waiting for it to come out on Blu-ray so I can buy it. I feel like a bad person for not seeing it yet. I'm going to see it. I just. December was a busy month and so was January. I got a lot of things going on, okay? Anyways, the shirt. Back to the shirt. It's a good shirt. I like Spider-Man. It's a good color. It's a good fit. I'm down with this shirt. This is a fantastic shirt. So let's move on with whatever else is in here. So this is actually, this is weighty. I think this is the weighty thing in the box. This, I could probably kill someone with this. What, what even is this? Look at this. The box says fra fragile, ooh, okay, look at this. Golden, is it Golden Fertility Idol of the Lost Temple. Oh, uh, is this what I think it is? That's actually pretty cool. Okay, well, let's see. I mean, anyone that really knows anything about anything should know what this is. Just based on the logo, it's gonna be Indiana Jones related. I mean, come on. That's how you do that. That's how you, that's how you open these. Okay, so we got a nice little sack. Look at my sack. That's a good sack. Soft. It's a soft sack. Popping this bad boy open right here. Oh, man, this thing, seriously. This is like the weightiest thing I've ever opened in a Geek Fuel. It's a candle. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a candle that is the fertility god from the very first Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is what he was doing that whole like bag of sand kind of thing, trying to swap it out. That's good. That's good. I like that. That's a lot of presentation for this thing. And that makes sense that it's so like heavy because it's a solid wax. It smells like a crayon. This is not a scented candle. If it did, it would probably smell like caves and death. Nothing says romantic light a candle like the scent of caves and death. What else we got in here? This is, oh, look at this. Look at that. This is the uh, Game of Thrones exclusive 4.5 white version, glow in the dark, translucent. So this is basically, um, the, I don't know if I forget which of the dragons got turned into a white. Was it, uh, so I think it was the one, it was Viserion, was it? The one that was named after Viserys? 
I think that's right. I want to pop this open though. I actually like this. I'm not usually one for these things, but I, I like this. Look at that bag boy. Oh, I like that. I'm a sucker for dragons. I like dragons. And it glows in the dark, does it? Does it glow in the dark? Oh, the teeth definitely do. Well, it's nice having like officially licensed things in the box for a change. That's good. That's a good change, Geek Fuel. I like that. Oh my goodness. Power Clip, revolutionary snack saver. Easy setup and use, spring-loaded technology, literally tens of uses, exciting snacking technology, but it's the Power Glove. The Power Glove is so bad. If you get that, you've seen The Wizard, which is quite possibly one of the greatest video game related movies ever made, starring Fred Savage and Bo Bridges. I got pretty specific there. Okay, I think the idea behind this, oh, it's, it's literally just a, it's a chip clip. <laughs> it's a chip clip. That's all it is. You're gonna get a roll up a bag of chips and put that on there, but it's kind of cool because it's the power glove, just a cut power clip. It's just kind of boop. Oh, it's even a magnet right there. So if you want to put that on your fridge, you can put that right on your fridge. Literally tens of uses. I <laughs> like that. That's this is stupid. This is stupid, but I actually kind of like it. Okay, hold on. There's a there's a booklet in here. The power clip, it's so bad. That's not a big deal. The size though is large. So I guess there's a small and a medium of this available in one size. So no, it's just the large size. It says, I could have just kept reading and figured that out for myself, but I didn't because sometimes I'm dumb. This is the reason I bought this box. This right here. This is why I bought this box. And it was, a, I don't remember the, who the, whoever, if you commented last box and said this is why you were buying it, you 100%, you convinced me to complete the year and get this. So this is a mini cover canvas. I've got three of them sitting on my wall over here. This is going to be my fourth. They're all comic book covers. Issue number ones, which is, I think is cool. The first one was Spider-Man, the second one was Wolverine number one, the third one was the Hulk. This one, is X-Men, X-Guys, X-Bros, whatever you wanna say, X-Men first issue is good. We got the classic team, we got Beast, we've got Angel, who's has a bazooka. I mean, that's my favorite power of Angels is the use of heavy weaponry. Um, Marvel Girl, who uh, it just ends up going by the name Jean Grey and eventually Phoenix, and there's gonna be a movie about that, but I think it looks terrible. Cyclops, right here. And then we got Iceman, who's literally just covered in ice, uh, snow, and then they're fighting against a Magneto. I'm just kidding, Magneto. I'm just, what kind of jackass says it like Magneto? Oh man, I didn't even, okay, I got, a, I got a pen in here too. I'm just pulling things out, I didn't even plan this. I was like, oh, I got a box, I gotta do this. This is Archer, this is the rare one. This is the uh, tac tactical neck, tactile neck with the spy goggles. It's a rare number out of uh, 500. So this is the other ones that I could have gotten. Back here, you can see that's the that's the one that I did get. There's Archer, Lana, uh, Mallory, Cyril. I actually haven't watched Archer in like two or three years. I think mostly because, I don't know, I kind of forgot it existed. Is that weird? Maybe I did lose interest. If you forget something exists, I think by default that means you're not interested in it. And the heater just came on. So that's gonna be fun in the background. But I got the rare one and that's that's cool. I like that. What else is in here? There's just a straight up comic book in here and it's a custom edition number one, not for resale. I better not sell this. Sideshow, Spider-Man and Thor, Marvel team up. I like comics. I've got a whole box full of comics in my closet over here. The cover is pretty good here. We got uh, Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Hulk, we got Groot. I don't know, that's hard to say. It looks like maybe Angela and Iron Man and the Wasp. Well, I'll give you, is this up here? I'll get, I'll get that close for you. Is that Angela? It looks like Angela to me, but it's really hard to tell because the drawing is kind of iffy, but that looks like what she's wearing usually. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I like, I like this. It's always fun getting a comic out of one of these boxes because uh, it means I just don't have to buy it. So this is a game called Splasher. One of the reasons I love getting Geek Fuel, you always get a Steam game. And I like getting Steam games added to my collection, especially if the game is a game I would not have otherwise even thought of buying. So this one, let's get into this. Splasher is a 2D platformer that offers arcade action. With a powerful and surprising paint cannon, the player will have to face great challenges and use all its skills to rescue the Splashers. Sometimes I go, oh, I'll get rid of it and give it out. I think the last one I did, but actually, 
I think I, I like 2D platformers, so I think I'm going to keep this. And then lastly, this isn't really part of it, but the, the bottom of the box becomes a diorama. I can do this. I can put the box and display the candle in there, but like what sane person would have a candle in a cardboard box? If you like this, you're literally asking for your house to burn down, and I just don't think that that's very safe. Okay, so let's break this down. If you've never watched one of these before, I basically break this down into one point per item. There's seven items in this, and then what I do is I average that out to like a number, and I figure out a grade letter for this, because there's seven items, and it's just really hard to use my current grading method for all my other things on this, because it doesn't work out nicely. So that's just what I do. Before I get into this, I have looked up all of the relative prices of these on eBay. So let's start off with the shirt. It's going for about 10 bucks on eBay, which yeah, it's fine, but I like it. So I'm giving it the full point. I will wear the shirt proudly whenever I can. Also, the sticker goes with it. So that's just like icing on the cake. Number two, the power clip thing right here. This is silly. It's just a silly item, but you know what? I like it. Number two, I could always use more things on my fridge. Number three, it's practical. It's a chip clip. Who doesn't want a chip clip? I need chip clips, I eat chips. Plus it's got geeky cred to it. So I'm gonna give it the full point, I like it. Plus it tends to go for about 15 bucks on eBay. So that's just kinda nice too. Next we've got the glow in the dark dragon. I like this dragon. It also goes for about 20 bucks on eBay or so. So I like that, at least from the ones I saw. You might prove me wrong, but I'm counting it as 20 bucks. That's a good deal, plus I like it. So it's gonna be the full point for that. Next we have this golden statue candle. This tends to go for like 30 bucks on eBay, so that's a pretty good deal. Next we have the game. I'm keeping the game. I'm gonna play the game. The game actually looks like fun. Plus it has very good reviews on Steam and it has a $15 value. Next down here we have the, now I couldn't find this pin on eBay, but most of the other pins are going for about 10 bucks. However, this being the rare one, I have a feeling this would be probably at least double that. So I'm gonna say about 20 bucks or so. So you know what? I'm gonna give that the point because I got the rare one and that's cool, even though I don't really care about pins. Lastly, we have the X-Men canvas. This is the one I wanted the most. Now this really only goes for like $15 on eBay. It's not a big deal, but I like it. It fills out my little quadrant thing that's been missing a piece for a year now. So uh, I love it and I'm giving it the full point. So if I math this out right, the value of this box is somewhere around 120 bucks. I also gave it a straight seven out of seven. I honestly am going to keep all of these things and I actually like pulling these out of the box. These things spark joy. So, I mean, it's been a while since I've done this, but I honestly think that this was a really good value. It sucks, it sucks paying 60 bucks, but I got easily double that in value and it's everything that I like. These are things that I'll gladly place on shelves and around the rooms and things like that. So that's it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Did you agree with me? Was I way too nice about this? Was I not nice enough? I don't think that's possible, but let me know down in the comments. I love to read and respond to each and every one of those. Like, share, subscribe, you know the normal YouTube stuff that people say at the end of every YouTube video. There's also a couple of different ways down in the downstairs area that you could support my channel if you want to, up to and including putting in a code for this thing because I get a little kickback. So if you wanna buy one, you can put in my code and that'd just be neat, but you don't have to, because I mean, it's, it's fine. But if you wanna see me do more of these, using that code is probably the easiest way because it would just go towards buying another box. But you know, it's, it's fine, whatever, it's cool. But that's it. Seriously, thanks for getting this far. And I'll see you later. Bye. Oh yeah, this box is worth it. I don't know if you, I don't know if you got that. Bye.